Hello everybody! Well, today is the day we've been looking for in this cotton field. It's the last spray. Keefe is in the background spraying cotton with defoliant. So we're knocking the leaves off, trying to open up all them top bowls. Hopefully everything fluffs open and we pick 1,500 pounds per acre. We're gonna spray it today, then we're gonna wait probably 10 to 14 days and come in here and pick it. So why don't we fast forward? Oh, that happened quick. So it's been 17 days later. Now you can tell the field is mostly all white. All the leaves are now officially falling off. Hopefully we've got all our top balls have opened and we're picking cotton. You can tell Keithy's there in the background picking as we speak. Got Jeff on the bull buggy. I'm running the module builder. They're also picking peanuts today. So super, super busy. Just a lot of stuff going on. So hop along, grab you some, uh, maybe some cotton candy to munch on while you watch this video and let's get started. picking super clean this year we're gonna try twice we're gonna try to wait a little bit longer uh a lot of times the longer you wait the more the cotton will fluff out these cold weather you don't have regrowth coming at you so you don't have to worry about that so the longer you can wait the better unless you have a storm come and blow it all off some of you may look at that and be like yeah that does not look clean but to me that looks pretty clean some years we pick and you're like man this just looks terrible I think a lot of it has to do with like the white cotton and the brown dirt or the brown soil for all you proper people out there. That contrast really screams, uh-oh, but um, yeah, it doesn't look that bad. Good gracious, what's the cotton? Man. Woo-wee. That's at least two and a half bale cotton right there. Maybe three. The way I judge it, y'all, um, some of y'all I know you've seen we grow kind of tall cotton. A lot of people like short cotton. How I can tell if we had three bale cotton generally is if I can look down in front of the picker and I can't see the ground, that's a good three bale cotton. If it's tall and it's filled out and I can only see the ground a little bit, that's a good two bale cotton. This right here, for the most part, looks like about uh, a bale and a half, two bale cotton, but there's places in the field that's definitely three bale or better. <laughs> I'm on a cot picker, Jeff's on the bow buggy, and we got Jimbo on the, <laughs> Jimbo's on the uh, module builder. And y'all might not know this, I don't think I've ever told y'all before, but uh, one of my first days on the job when I came to work for them was picking cotton. I believe it was in the Truman field. And since I was the new guy, my job was to run the module builder. Well, that Truman field is the one we had peanuts on this year. And it, um, <laughs> you know, it ain't about 25, 30 acres. Y'all, I swear to God, that field had so much cotton in it that year, he couldn't make one through without having a basket full of cotton. And here I am, brand spanking new. I'm a rookie. Don't know what I'm doing. Having to learn everything. And I'm on the cotton picker, trying to keep up with a man that's picking over three bell cotton, running 4.6 miles an hour. I was so daggone mad, I about, I about quit my first day. <laughs> Woo, so uh, I'm gonna give him a little bit of his own mess of the day. He thinks I'm running 4.3. I'm gonna bump it up about six miles an hour and uh, give him a taste of his own medicine today. <laughs>
one more dump to put on this module and she'll be done. We usually put around three, three and a half dumps and that uh, usually will give us about 12 to 15 bales per module. So I got my tarp rolled out after every time we pull off a module or a brick of cotton, whatever you want to call it, put the tarp on it. The way if it rains, it doesn't get wet. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That should hold us for this field. I wish we needed more, but I think that's gonna be enough. We got this one built. Lift her up. All right, we're about to pull off of it. Hopefully the camera stays on there. You know, kick. And you'll notice the gate doesn't go all the way down. If you remember last year, teaspoon, big mess up, broke the whole uh, gate off the module builder. So this is one we put on it and it's not quite long as the other one. All right, we got it moved up and we've got two built. We built one yesterday. We picked maybe, I don't know, five to, seven acres or so, probably a little more than that. Now that is a pretty module. Perfect square, looks great. Wow, another great one, square. It's almost as if Picasso was out here or maybe Leonardo da Vinci sculpting the perfect module. Maybe not, maybe not. And we will, before people start commenting, we'll go and we'll pick all this cotton up, put it on the side. So when the module builder trucks come, they get all the cotton. All right, everybody, we had a bit of a breakdown. Uh, Mario Andretti here um, so, decided to go Mach 1, and the uh, lift arm here came apart. Jumper. In all my whole life, I've been around the track. Get your hand behind it, man. Need a hammer? Are we going to have to. It's got to go that way, or out, and then. It's twisted. All right, guys. Well, Keefe is walking toward the truck to get a hammer. I'm still currently up under the tractor. Taking a nap. But I have a wireless mic on, so I feel very important. Oh, my bad. I guess it's not in the toolbox. If we let it, the hitch down, will that any, give us any clearance? Yeah, it needs to come, come my way. Down here. Bevel goes to the outside, right? I beat the hell out yeah. of me. You would think that it would. That way it would tighten that clip up the harder it pushed on it. But... Oh. Got it. He got it. Got it. <laughs> All right, we got it fixed. Had ourselves a delicious lunch from Firehouse. So thanks, Mom and Jennifer, for uh, hooking us up with some delicious Firehouse from our local Firehouse subs in mariana florida keefe is behind me he's getting back in the cotton picker so we got all the short rows knocked out pretty much we're about to pick uh some in rows and then we're starting the good cotton what i think looks a lot better uh majority of this field is delta pine 1840 we have a little bit of uh 57 11 next gen 57 11 kind of right there by the pivot point but uh looks like the further south yeah, the further south we go, the cotton looks a lot better. So hopefully it picks up and uh, really shows out for us. Mayday, mayday. This does not look good. No! No! Could be worse. Jeff, what happened? I about dumped the cotton and uh, man, I watched the line just blow. 
It looked like, I don't know, some kind of spring just erupted. Hydraulic line. Right there. Son of a gun. Well, well, well. Hopefully it won't be too bad of a fix. All I gotta do is take the line off. Got a local parts store, part store here in town and uh, get a new one put on it. How about one of these? You with a one. This is what I was afraid of. All right, we got it off. So run up to town, see if they can get a, get a new one for it. Just like that, I've got a new line. Gonna get it put back on. Lift arm about fell off. Busted hydraulic lines. Just minor stuff, knock on wood. It broke it. Well done. Staring up today. Every time. Looks good. All right, maybe that's fair. Good. All right, all right. Take two. I'm not going to touch the camera this time. We're actually in some pretty good cotton here. I didn't think it was gonna be. It didn't look that great from the road. After we started picking it, I was kind of surprised. Get ready to go get Keefe. We're on the other end of the field right now. Turn around, getting ready to come back my way. I just think, yep, yep, yep. Touched it again. Maybe it won't fall. Barely touched it. is what he's doing which is uh good i mean you can't complain hey, no you were empty you just got some good cotton Just short of, just short of half. About, about a three and a half, a little less than three and a half, which, which is good, because uh, the shorter, the shorter distance you go and can get a full basket means more money in the long run. And you've got a good cotton yield. Like I said, this field surprised me. Like looking from the road, it just, I don't know. I didn't think it was gonna be that great. But uh, it definitely surprised me. All right, we got a load. We got a load of t-shirts right back here. I mean, it's some 1846 right now. I don't know what brand that is. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's Del, that may be Delta Pine, 1846, or Next Gen. But anyway, I have to get Jim, Jim to correct me on that. But uh, we get over yonder, we're gonna be in some 5711. I know y'all like 5711. That's what makes all them t-shirts so soft. I wish I didn't have my camera, my camera mounted on the windshield. Oh, uh, boy, I 
I'd like to show y'all this right here. Good gracious alive. I'm gonna tell you what, and this cock got rained on a couple days ago, but I'm gonna tell you what now. That almost looks like cotton that we've picked that hadn't got any rain on. Now, if it rains, if it doesn't rain on it, generally your cotton picks real clean. You don't leave a lot. If it rains on it, you usually leave a little bit. But man, I tell you, uh, one of the last, I don't know if it was the last video we did or one of the last videos we did. God dang, I gotta show y'all this. Man, y'all gotta see this right here. I gotta take this thing off. I have got to show y'all this. I don't know if he got it bolted up. He got it bolted up, but y'all got to see this right here. Y'all think I'm BSing y'all. Look at that right there, boys. Girls, y'all think I'm full of it, man? I tell you, the camera don't do that justice right there, y'all, at all. I'm getting off my road trying to film. I'm having to go slow, kind of filming, but uh, but yeah, y'all tell me what y'all think. It's white t-shirts because it's white cotton. So, you know, your blue jeans are made out of blue cotton. We don't, we don't, we don't grow blue cotton. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't produce well here in Florida. So, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. There's no blue cotton. It's all white. built Kyle and Trevor just came up they're done picking peanuts for the day got a little too too high moisture so we're gonna pull it around and start another row of six what you just say I said that one's gonna lump it yeah that one ain't the prettiest one and two looks pretty good though well that is going to be it we got eight modules right yeah eight modules we got six and then two which makes eight it's pretty cold sun sets in the background We've got a lot of cotton on the ground today it was super windy wasn't it jeff definitely windy it's not a good day in the cotton field when it's windy no no it makes it harder to do everything yep that it does so anyways that's gonna be it for today's video thanks so much for watching until the end jesus loves you guys Keep it in the field row. See ya, bye. bye.